Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many Python developers using VS Code and Pylint might relate to. Our viewer is looking for a way to disable certain warnings that can be a bit too strict for their coding style. Specifically, they want to know how to turn off warnings for invalid variable names in short methods and the requirement for doc strings. Let's dive into how we can customize Pylint's configuration to make coding smoother and more enjoyable. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully find that resolution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. To configure Pylint to disable certain warnings in Visual Studio Code, we first need to create a configuration file for Pylint. In this configuration file, we can specify which warnings we want to disable. For example, to disable invalid variable names and missing doc strings, we will add specific options. Now that we have our configuration set up, we need to ensure that Visual Studio Code recognizes this file. Pylint will automatically use the .plintrc file in your project directory. Finally, let's test our configuration. Open a Python file in your project and run Pylint. You should no longer see warnings for invalid variable names or missing doc strings. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To disable certain warnings in Pylint, you can set up a configuration file. Simply create a .pylintrc file in your home directory. In the .pylintrc file, under the section Messages Control, you can specify which warnings to disable. For example, to disable warning C0103, just add it to the disable list. For more detailed guidance, you can check out helpful resources like Stack Overflow. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To disable certain warnings in Pylint, you can edit the settings JSON file. Add the rules you want to ignore under the Pylint args attribute. For example, if you're using PEP8, and want to ignore the E501 warning about line length, you can specify that in your settings. You can find a list of PEB8 error codes on their official documentation. For more details on Python linting in VS Code, check the VS Code documentation. I hope that video helped get through to the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a great one. Cheers.